Welcome back friends. Well, uh, now we have seen uh, how to install Java on the AWS instance. Now uh, I have one instance running I'll be using in this particular instance for the Kafka broker. Now I have to create another VM on uh, another instance which I'll be able to use as uh, a consumer kind of thing, which actually I don't need it. Uh, I can use my um, desktop as the uh, consumer, but for sake of uh, the demo, let me create another uh, instance of the same instance, select and go and create a micro instance, review and launch. You can go and configure the, all the details, but uh, at this point, I don't think, but for your uh, learning, maybe I can go and see and explain what all other options of creating uh, the instance. So go and, and click next you see that uh, this is the network related things uh, this is the vpc which is the default vpc which will be associated to your instance and this is the subnet which is the uh, default subnet in any availability zone uh, availability zone is a uh, cloud concept and uh, auto assign the public ip which is uh, we have enabled so that a public ip always will be assigned to it and any role you want to particular assign to this instance, which is none, okay? Next, go ahead and, uh, so these are the, you don't need to change it, keep it, keep them as it is. Next are the storage. You see that a uh, by default there is a 10 gig storage is uh, added. So remember in your feed here, if you go and check, actually you can use 30 gig of uh, uh, storage, that is a SSD type general purpose SSD type. So we have already used 10 gig for one instance, 10 gig for this instance, and we'll be having remaining 10 in, uh, gig also. So that means we can actually execute another instance, okay? But uh, we, we may not need that. So uh, 10 gig already we have used, and another 10 gig we have. And uh, the tag in the instance, uh, we can actually tag it, I call it uh, the Kafka consumer, Kafka consumer, okay, the Kafka consumer, and uh, security, this is, uh, keep it uh, just by default, okay, and whatever is assigned, you don't need to really worry about it, and review and launch, and, uh, okay, that's all, and uh, go forward and click launch and okay if you see that we remember to give the same security key pair which we have created last time you see that we created the my demo key pair right assign it that's important and click i acknowledge launch the instance now uh, this instance is getting ready it's pending and uh, let's wait for it to be running and go to the sheet to dashboard and see how many running instances you have. Okay, this is the running. And we didn't, uh, last time we when we created, we didn't tag it. So actually we can go forward and tag it. We call it Kafka broker. Okay, this is uh, just maybe we Kafka broker so that it will be easier for us to see uh, who is one is what. So if you see that this is the IP, I have not restarted, so my e IP address remains the same. Now, this is initializing, it is still not running. Mm, okay, now it is running, you see that? Now what is the IP? The consumer, okay. Uh, you see that, what is the IP? This is the IP, copy it and go to our party session host and I'll, I'll give this as a name that uh, Kaf, okay kafka consumer and go to the data ec2 user go to ssh auth and browse this is the demo same key pair 
you can use it and go and save it save it so this is the consumer and this is the broker right now go forward and yes and see if we are able to access yes we are now we're not go and do the same thing again like sudo yum update minus y so what this is going to do is updating the packages right now i can actually go on another uh, window i can uh, do some other thing but okay what i'll do is i'll wait for uh, the update to happen and i'll come back later well we are back you see this is over now now uh, let's do the same thing again install java here itself so to go forward and install java let me uh, do a bit different way this time just to show you how different we can install java again go forward and open oracle.com so download oracle java okay go and open that page and here accept and you see here linux 64 bit the rpm let me download this time the rpm copy link address and here uh, copy the link and download the rpm uh, well another thing we have to do is uh, just uh, we have to download the wget here as well right so sudo yum install wget y Well, uh, download now, wget, copy, the RPM is getting download. Now, what we can do is, yum, with yum we can install it, okay, let's copy this. Okay, so this is uh, sudo yum local installs. We can do sudo yum. Okay, what did that be? sudo yum local install this file. Press Y. It is installing Java. Okay. With this, what we can do is, you can see where the Java is installed. Here it is, user Java. You see that here it is, uh, the JDK 1891 is installed. So previously what we did is we installed Java in the home directory of the user. So in that way, what we can do is we are restricting other users of uh, Linux. They, they cannot use Java because we have installed in the home directory of the user so here in this uh, way what we can do we have done is we have installed in a generic uh, path which is user java which will be available to all the users right so now what i can do is i can go and set the java path okay to the common uh, java path is now this one and i can set it for all the users like go to etc directory and vi okay you can have to do sudo vi sudo vi dot profile we can update the profile 
here instead of dot bash rc this will be for all the users i can export the java home equal to the path okay so this is the java home now and now we can export the path as well path equal to the existing path okay colon and the value of java home slash bin this is my new path go forward and save it now we are set java home is set now again go forward and download the kafka here as well okay so here i'll just copy it control c and here go forward and download oh okay i'm sorry permission denied so cd go to my uh, pwd this is my home directory now I'll do it here okay so here i got it the kafka is downloaded here and let's untie it okay we got it so now what is the path uh, what is the ip of this internal ip see this is 81 and previously what we did we accessed the other uh, user as this right uh, so now i have got this is as my produce uh, the broker and the ip that the broker is uh, now which ip 64 and consumer is 81 so 81 this is the consumer and this is the broker okay 64 so uh, let's do one thing let's check quickly the uh, kafka quickly let's check uh, let's do that in my next video okay